John Laval, listen, uh, <coughs> blood sugar uh, foods, this is more for uh, people who have diabetes, uh, actually can develop diabetes by uh, laying down after you eat, like a lot of times at dinner time, you know, big good sized dinner and uh, I want to go lay down, I feel like, well, I, I'm tired, I, after that meal I think I'd like to lay down and uh, it's really a bad idea because um, what will happen is you're, uh, well, you screw up your digestion by laying down after you eat anyways, but uh, uh, your blood sugar is, uh, can really, really spike and it'll stay up there for a long time because the food didn't have the, uh, say, the gravity and stuff they would have if you were sitting up or standing. Uh, so it basically just sits there and uh, uh, your pancreas is, uh, you know, pumping out insulin and uh, trying to do something. It actually overworks the uh, the pancreas. Uh, this causes you to have diabetes too. And uh, you'll note that if you take your blood sugar, say when you get up from the nap or whatever, uh, I've had it where I ate my dinner, fell asleep, and didn't wake up till the morning. My sugar was still skyrocketed, and you know. What happens is it's spiked and it just stayed there and uh, you don't want to be in a state where your sugar is high for any length of time because uh, diabetes is uh, a devastating disease. It's uh, you're looking at blindness, circulation problems, heart problems, kidney problems, uh, digestive problems and uh, everything else you can get. Uh, so that's the importance of uh, you want to sit up and uh, stay up. Actually, standing will get your blood sugar down faster. Standing after a meal, but you probably want to, you know, sit down for at least 15 minutes, and uh, then get up on your feet, and that will control your blood sugar. But laying down is about the worst thing you can do if you've got sugar problems to start with. And as I say, if you don't have sugar problems, you'll develop them pretty soon if you get into that habit of doing that. There you go.